McAdams? I'll get back. See that you. What the hell do I talk to you to get a warrant? <sighs> We're CSI and we need them. McCoy? Red? I'm going to go back. Go get him, Red. <gasps> <sighs> That's Agent Stephen Abbott's desk. Steve's on vacation right now. Special Agent Marjorie Vargo sits there. Marjorie's out having baby Kevin. This is Sully's desk. This belonged to Kelsey. There was some trick to open in it. Got it. Sully! Holy shit! This girl is fucked up. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. I need to talk to someone. Erica, how are you, sweetheart? I've been worried about you. I heard about what's happening. Dad, I, I'm, I'm not good. Some psycho is hurting Sully. She took his eye out and I just found it. Slow down, Erica. Breathe. You can do this. You're strong. You're tough as nails, honey. Just breathe. Oh, please, just talk to me, Dad. Of course. Uh, hey, remember your high school soccer team? You were a hell of a goalie. Even took one right to the face and kept going. <laughs> that hurt like hell. I was lucky nothing broke. Like that would have stopped the brick house. <laughs> brick house. I haven't been called that in a while. I'm sorry, Dad. I know Davies was a friend. She was a good woman. But Erica, you can handle this. You're gonna find this piece of crap who's hurting Sully and bring her to justice. I know I can trust Brickhouse to never let anything stop her. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'll feel better once I catch her. Or unload a few rounds in her. Your job is justice, not revenge. Don't forget that. Be careful, Erica. I don't want to lose you too. I love you, sweetheart. I know. I better go now, Dad. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Oh, I don't need to see that again. I'll call Terrence when I'm done and get CSI over here to take care of it. Who the hell put... Kelsey's demo CD. She's pretty good, for someone who snapped and started a killing spree. Oh, 
still not enough? Fine. This is not... My buddy, Terence, from Forensics. Hmm. Okay. Now what? Wicked dusty in there. This envelope's been sitting around for a while. Nothing written on it. But it feels like there's something shaking around in here. A memory card. The memory card I found in Kelsey's apartment. Memory card for what? Oh. I can't see anything. Damn it. That was useful. Wicked dusty in there. This envelope's been sitting around for a while. Nothing written on it. But it feels like there's something shaking around in here. A memory card. The memory card I found in Kelsey's apartment. Memory card for what? Oh. I can't see anything. Damn it. That was useful.
They're financial records from Daniel Chapman's personal account. How did Kelsey get these? A lot of deposits are coming in from places other than Berkeley, though. There's also a list of companies owned by the Susie K. Lending Institution. A few of these are in the financial records, too. The Dean's taking money from the same student loan company that turned Kelsey down for her loan. <laughs> no wonder he's got all these pricey collectibles. He's taking money on the side. That's what the letter is about. He knew what she was doing. He'd only send that if these were real. Your threats are worthless, Kelsey. There's no signature. Something was ripped off here. I can still see the bottom of the letters that were on it. training. Pretty early for rain though. Like, it's only like 11.15, usually it rains around, I don't know, 3 or 4. <gasps> Dean Chapman? Hello, Agent Reed. Yeah, it's time the Dean and I had a talk about this. Something, but it's not enough on its own to go making threats. <sighs> they match. This was written on official Berkeley stationery. So, Kelsey threatened the Dean with these stolen financial records. And he sent her that letter to get her to back down. The idiot even used his own stationery. I think it's time Dean Chapman and I had a little talk. One more time, Chapman. Is there anything else you want to tell me? No, I've told you everything. I really hate being lied to. First you lied about knowing Kelsey and that she worked here. Now you're lying about why she stopped working here, when, and why she dropped out altogether. You have no proof of any of that. These files prove that you've been taking gifts from the Susie K. Lending Institution for at least four years. Students get referred and ripped a new one on interest rates, and suddenly you're going on really nice family vacations and getting instruments signed by Yo-Yo Ma and the Beatles. That's, uh, there's no... Those are falsified reports. I highly doubt it. And a little scrutiny from the experts will prove one way or the other. How are you feeling about your odds in that bet, Daniel? This letter was sent to Kelsey's personal post office box months ago. Whoever wrote it ripped off the top to conceal the letterhead. What has that got to do with me? They didn't rip quite enough off. The bottom of a few letters are left. Letters that match your office stationery. That's all that proves is someone used a piece of Berkeley stationery to write this. Do you know how many offices carry that? You're right. But that's not all there is. The letterhead, these financial records, plus the fact that Kelsey had access to this office and your reports. And your personnel records over there will no doubt back that up. And the fact that you lied about knowing her. I think I've got a great story for the Boston Globe. How about you? What do you want? 
the truth, you piece of shit. Did Kelsey Gardner work in your office? Yes, she did. And why was she fired? She threatened me. She said she had proof that I was corrupt, and if I didn't get her scholarship back, she'd turn me in. So you threatened her right back? I thought it'd make her back off. You knew she was never gonna get a loan from them, didn't you? Who they give money to is out of my hands. I just refer people, that's all. And collect all the perks paid for in interest by your students. It's a, a consultant's fee. It's a conflict of interest the size of Russia, and it's illegal, jackass. How many students are living off ramen thanks to your referrals while you're taking trips to Dubai? What happened the last time you spoke with Kelsey? She came here to tell me she was dropping out, and uh, she said she would go to the police with a file. She was screaming, threatening, out of control, and I was honestly scared. I sent that letter to make her back off. I never heard from her, and then she went missing. How convenient for you. I told you, I had nothing to do with her disappearance. Now we're getting somewhere. What else are you hiding? I, I got a package this morning. I, I think it's from Kelsey. It came by messenger, and inside it was this charm. Another silver charm. Consider yourself lucky to be alive, Chapman. The victims all were found with charms like this. I'm a target? Well, you need to help me. You need to protect me. Don't worry. You'll be very safe down at the station. What? I'm FBI, Chapman. Did you really think I wasn't going to tell the police about this? Do yourself a favor and don't leave town. The boys in blue will be in touch soon. Oh, no. I kind of hate it when I need to save assholes like you. I'll give Kelsey this much. She had every reason to hate you. That's a lot of blood. What happened? That's the alley where Longmore was killed. This can't just be a coincidence. Arathan Avenue. Same street sign that was in my vision. Same alleyway Longmore died in. This is a little too big to be a coincidence. But what's the connection? Arathan Avenue. This is not... This is not... Arathan Avenue. One of the charms gave me a vision of this dumpster. One of the charms can...
to Quebec. Okay, the violin was by the post, the masks were by the dumpster. She gets her ball in her mouth. She starts crying for somebody to throw it for. Yes, you do. Little brat. Who's the pet here, huh? Who's the pet here, huh? Go get it. That gate was in the vision I got from one of the charms. I think that's the piano. Over there. Zoe, what are you doing? Ugh, hold on. Zoe. I think that's right. You can't move, Kelsey. You can't move. What's wrong with you? What are we even doing here? Oh, put that knife down. You're freaking me out. You can't leave me. You love me. I don't. You are creeping. We're through. Get away. Let me go! You will love me. <sighs> I need to hear your voice. Please, please, please open your eyes. Joey Go Falls, the post office clerk. He's the wise monkey? It isn't Kelsey, but it is all about her. Why the victims were all pushed, then stabbed. 
But why take the eyes, ears, and tongues from the victims? If the wise monkey is a man, who the hell is the woman who has Sully? What the hell is going on? I don't need to check out that crime scene again. Hmm. Interesting. John, you son of a bitch. Red, you all right? Whoever's got Sully, they're hurting him. I found his, his eye. What? Oh, shit. This bitch is seriously psychotic. What else have you got? It gets weirder. Kelsey Gardner is dead. She's been dead since she went missing months ago. You find a body? No, I had a vision of it. I believe you, Erica. But look, you're gonna need evidence to back it up for McAdams. Oh, hey, wait a sec, wait a sec, hang on. If she's dead, then who's the wise monkey? The real wise monkey is a man named Joey Gothals, a post office clerk that I met yesterday. Kelsey used to date him. Trouble in paradise? I'll say. She dumped him and he snapped. No idea where the body is yet, though. And here's another twist. It happened in the same alleyway where the hangman was killed. So, an alley we've been to, a guy you've just met, and the suspect is actually the victim. Next, you're gonna tell me dogs and cats are living together. Wait, I thought it was a woman who drugged someone. It was. How do you explain that? I don't know why or who, but someone is screwing with us, John, and it's pissing me off. I need to find Sully before this gets angry first. <laughs> Where are you looking next? I've got Gothal's home address. I'm gonna go check it out. Keep me posted, Red, because I want to catch this scum and nail his balls to the wall. Get in line. We still gotta find out who that woman was. Tell Terence to prioritize anything connected to getting her ID'd. You got it. I shouldn't leave the charms here. They're evidence. This is the only door I can find. And until I can prove he's the wise monkey, well, let's say I don't want to deal with McAdams right now. Damn it! How do I get into this place? Oracle? Again? Who the hell is this person? Why do they keep sending these emails? Let's see what's in here. Whoa. This has got to be the most expensive thing in the place. Speak. This must be a voice activated lock. Had to have been expensive to set up. Unlock. Open up. Open sesame. Door open. Let me in. Fucking A. Fat chance this thing would open for my voice. I don't have time to call the manufacturer or a warrant even if I did. How can I get this thing open? 
That won't work. Fucking A. Fat chance to... 